Welcome back to Focus Atlanta. Thanks so much for continuing to watch. We are going to close out the show with something exciting for the kids. It is SEEK. We're going to talk a little bit about STEM and STEAM and how that education is really going to propel them for the future. And I'm here with Anita. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. I truly appreciate you all having me on the show. I'm excited. <laughs> well, first, give, give me a little background. What is SEEK? So SEEK is a nonprofit mobile organization that is headquarters out of Miami. We started in Atlanta 2014, no, 2017, I'm sorry. And we also operate out of California and we start in Texas next month. So we're a nonprofit organization that teach kids how to build products ages five through 10 through after school programming. I mean, and you're talking about everyday stuff that they could use. You're teaching kids how to make lip balm, if that's yeah. something that they want. Teaching, teaching them how STEM and STEAM education can really propel them into the future. Tell me about the age range of these kids. So we try to pick a certain age range, but for the most part, we understand that all kids need STEM. And so we have three different cohorts. We have elementary, middle and high school, where the elementary kids, they may participate in, you know, again, making their own lip balm, chapstick, lotion, learn about viscosity and or build robots through Lego League and First Tech. And then we also have our middle school and high school students who also participate in building robots building drones, mobile AC units, building skateboards, just to give them all the practical skills. So we have different cohorts of kids that we work with throughout um, the weekdays and also on our Steamtastic Saturdays. That is phenomenal. I think that we all know how important STEM and STEAM is to the education, but you really make it fun. You make it so that they can get their hands in there. They can really see the practical application of the things that they're learning. Um, tell me what the kids are saying. And so some of the kids, like we try to capture as much uh, audio as we can on like recording videos. We have kids like this program is free. It should be money. It should cost like this is this is so much and it should cost. Parents are saying like they have new kids, especially during the pandemic. They used to participate in sports and now they have, you know, children that are building robots. And so some of the things that we're receiving from kids and adults is these are some of the things they have haven't done in school. And so our goal is to always provide them access to a genre of different STEM activities because we understand not every kid wants to build a robot. And I preach that all the time. You go to a classroom, you know, they're learning the same thing, but not every kid in that classroom is interested in it. So we try to get them exposed to these different um different topics in STEM and or STEAM education. So they're always saying they, they want to come back for summer camp, Saturdays, we have the DJ, the music, so we just really try to get them excited and, and come to the program and learn different items that they can do in STEM. I and love that, STEM. I love that. And, and you're talking about the kids, but I gotta imagine that the parents are excited too, because again, they are growing in ways that, you know, sometimes we don't anticipate kids having interest in certain aspects of, of STEM or certain aspects of, of STEAM. But like you said, if you're making a lip balm, if you're a girly girl and you're, you know, you're using that math, you know, in the, that science that you're good at, but you're, you're doing it in a way that's, that's, you know, works for you as opposed to a robot, you know, but if someone has a mind for robotics, you can do that too. Like you're, you're showing them that there are various ways to use the math and, and science and, and I just love it. Yes, they, the parents are excited. So on Saturdays, we have like a steam day party, especially like Atlanta, they are on fire. And you, we have videos like the parents dancing at the end and, you know, making their own logos and t-shirts. And we're talking about, you know, heat transfer using a heat press machine. So um, we try to provide and find innovative ways to get more parents engaged because of course, um, when parents are engaged, students are more than likely 92% study at uh, George Mason University. They're more likely to retain the information. And at 65%, they're more likely to go into a STEM field with a relative or um, 
or a familiar face when they do these activities with a relative or a familiar face. Oh my gosh. Well, the, okay. Now you've got to close out the, with a website then because all the parents are thinking, I need to learn more. So please close us out with a website. So you can find us at www.seekedu.org. That is our website. Our social media handles are on our website and you can click on where you see Atlanta. We're very active in Atlanta and hopefully we'll be active in more states and we'll see parents from other places soon. All right. Thank you so much for coming on the show. It was a pleasure to meet you. Thank you for having me. I truly appreciate it. Absolutely.